Good morning and welcome to the International Space Station Flight Control Room at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. I'm NASA's Sandra Jones. This morning we're bringing you live coverage of the autonomous undocking of a SpaceX cargo Dragon vehicle that has been docked to the International Space Station since December 22nd. Station Houston on two. First set of hooks are open. Dragon is committed to undock. Visual separation confirmed, 154023. Copy, Tom. And all hooks are open. Dragon separation is confirmed. And you're seeing a view of the Dragon as it departs the space station. Station Houston on two. Dragon is outside the approach ellipsoid on a 24-hour safe free drift trajectory. And again, another big thanks to all of you for all the work you've done in the last few days to get us ready for undock. We really do appreciate it. And we copy. Thank you as well. There's a lot of replanning going on, and uh, everyone did a fantastic job keeping us informed and uh, keeping us going and making this happen. So we very much appreciate it. It's been an audacious month, and. Uh, we, we hope all our return will be provide a lot of benefit for everyone on the ground. Thanks very much. And with Dragon now safely out of the approach ellipsoid to recap some of the autonomous undocking events of today, the unpiloted Dragon cargo vehicle was set free from the International Space Station by commands from the ground at 9.35 a.m. Central Time and physical separation occurred at 9.40 a.m. Central Time as the International Space Station and Dragon were flying over the South Pacific Ocean. Dragon then executed a series of undocking and departure burns to move it to a safe distance away from the space station, where it will continue to move for the next several hours. Tomorrow at 2.18 p.m. Central Time, Dragon will execute a deorbit burn. And following the deorbit burn, Dragon will have a parachute assisted splashdown off the coast of Panama City, Florida, targeted for 3.05 p.m. Central Time tomorrow. The experiments on board will then be transferred to NASA's Space Station Processing Facility at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. NASA TV will not broadcast Dragon's splashdown, but you can look for updates on the Space Station blog and follow along on social media. And with the Cargo Dragon now safely on its way back to Earth, carrying more than 4,900 pounds of cargo and research with it, that will wrap our coverage for today. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Mission Control Houston.